The world's smallest full-featured flash trigger is finally here. You guys know how I just love and I'm obsessed with and keep looking for the smallest, most lightweight camera stuff possible. And I'm sure you remember that video where I showed you in this little bag here, I have a seven foot light stand, a powerful flash, an interchangeable lens camera, three lenses, and a flash trigger. I'll put a link down below for that, but I'll show you again real quick because I want to show you a missing piece to that. Here's the seven foot light stand. That's what this is. Okay, the powerful flash is an AD100, more powerful than a speed light. Then I have three lenses and my interchangeable lens camera with a viewfinder. It has a viewfinder too and a hot shoe. This is micro four thirds, pretty big sensor too. This is a um, GM5. There's other ones too that are small like this that can be, you know, for people like small stuff like an Olympus EM10 or a Lumix G100. There's a bunch of small ones, but this is the smallest one in the world that has a hot shoe and a viewfinder. And I've done multiple videos about this. I'll put a link down below about it. But the missing part, the big thing that was missing up until now was the flash trigger. You have to use a normal giant flash trigger if you want to be able to change the power setting of your flash, which is on an eight foot pole. I know there's small flash triggers. I made a video about that. <laughs> like the, uh, this is the world's smallest flash trigger. It's a flash cue. Here's the receiver and here's the transmitter. The problem is, and there's other ones too, like this, this one here, you can get cheap ones from Neewer if you're like 20 bucks or something. Or, you know, something like this, you just, it's like a basic hot shoe with a cord that you can put to your flash. The problem with all of these, including a flash cue, is you cannot adjust the power setting of your flash. You, you can't change it when it's up on an eight foot pole, you can't reach it. Or if you're using multiple flashes and you wanna change the power setting of each one, you can't do that with these. This is, all this, these do is tell the flash to flash. That's all it does. You can't change it, you can't do high speed sync, you can't do groups or, or channels or anything like that. So, Godox to the rescue, they just came out. Thank you Godox for something that's really cool and exciting. Where is it? It's so small, I can't even know where it is. Okay, <laughs> here it is. Check this out. This is a full-blown, full-featured electronic flash trigger. Let me just turn it on here. Look at that, nice little colored thing. Bam, ABC, channel 17. So you can have multiple groups and channels. It's touch screen, push on setting. And then you can have all these adjustments here. It has, it has high speed sync which I never use, but it has that. Uh, it has different modes. You can have even like, uh, for example, you can adjust the, the beep, the modeling light. You can turn on and off the modeling light. Uh, it's so cool. There's so many, it's like a normal, real electronic flash. Look at that. Now we have something that's the proper size for this tiny little camera. This is the real thing. This is the, this isn't like a little wannabe flash trigger. This is a real flash trigger. And it's with, I mean, for little cameras like this, this is perfect. Anybody who likes small cameras that has a hot shoe, finally we have something that's not a full size ridiculous flash trigger. Let's say you want to change the power setting of flash A. You click on that and it, since it's a touch screen, you can change the value of the flash with the touch screen or on the side here is a little knob Right there, look at this. You, you highlight the part you want to change and you turn the knob. So look at that. I'm turning the knob and you can change the value. And then if you want to switch to something else, you click it, go down to the next thing or the change the group. I don't think these are out yet. Godox contacted me, says, you know, the typical, you have a YouTube channel, we'd like you to promote our stuff. And I said, look, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, because I don't, I mean, I love Godox stuff. I said, but I don't want people to think I'm biased or anything. I said, but hey, I heard you're having a little flash trigger coming out. And I said, that's the only thing I'm really interested in. And so they, they sent me some and uh, I was, they even sent me some earlier models of it. I don't think they're available yet. I don't know what they're gonna cost. I don't know anything other than they're really cool and small and cute. Uh, I do have, uh, 
three um, early models when they were still playing around with the design and stuff. I'm going to give these away. I'm going to give away. Um, now, if if you win one of these, you cannot uh, do a review on these ones because these are early models and they have a different name on the side. Uh, the, they, for legal reasons, you can't mention some of the things about this, but it's the same thing. This one's called an X3. That's what the, the final name is. These are prototype models. They're fully operational. They're fully functional. These are for Sony. Yeah, it's got an S on the side. So I'm going to give away three different uh, tiny flashes uh, for Sony. MarcusPix.GiveawayEnter.com. And uh, I'm so happy I finally have a small flash trigger for small cameras. By the way, the, this is my favorite lens for a small camera like this. It's the 14 2.5. It's really sharp. It's really good. I did a photo shoot with it. I'll put the link down below that we did in Palm Springs. But look at the proportions of this. Look at this little tiny camera with a little tiny flash trigger, little tiny lens, and it's perfect. And I've got this powerful flash all in this little bag that I carry with me. Seven foot light stand all right here. That's pretty amazing. Oh, I, I guess some of you want proof that this thing actually works. So here we have this one at power of eight. I'm changing it. Look, look down here. You see that? both of these, I'm changing that. And you can see it changing on the flash. Pretty cool. So let's, let's see if it works here. Yep, look at that. It's working, it's working, Natasha, it's working. Very interesting, I like, I like very much, yes. Okay, well, there you go. Small flash, small flash trigger, small lens, small camera, viewfinder, small light stand, small lenses, I am complete. Thank you. Let's go take some pictures.